Hi everybody, I'm Sue Allen Clayton. Welcome to my channel where we'll be learning the tarot cards, one card at a time. Today's card is number 12 in the Major Arcana, The Hanged Man. I am using the Rider Waite Tarot deck and you'll find the link below to the video. I've also linked to the many books I've used for my research. In this video, we'll discuss what this card means when it appears in a reading, the symbolism of the card, the meaning of the hanged man when it is upright and reversed, including some examples from my life, and at the end, I'll provide you with some questions to help you better connect with the hanged man. So let's get started. In this card, we see a man hanging from a T-shaped wooden structure. He is wearing a blue tunic, red tights, and yellow shoes. He has golden hair that is surrounded by a yellow halo. His left leg is behind his right leg, and his arms are behind his back. He is tied around his foot and waist, yet looks comfortable and relaxed. The background is gray. This card indicates that you are in a difficult situation or need to view your situation from a different perspective. This card encourages us to examine our beliefs, to surrender when necessary, and to look for creative solutions. For instance, rather than pushing your will on people, it might be time to take a step back, do nothing, and just wait for the situation to change. In 12th century paintings, Jesus was actually shown hanging upside down on a cross. For this reason, the hangman card can also represent sacrifice or martyrdom. We'll discuss the symbolism next, and you'll learn that it is a very spiritual card. It can indicate that you can make progress by doing nothing except developing a spiritual perspective. It can also represent turning your life around. So let's talk about the symbols in this card. The hanged man is hanging from a T-shaped cross made of wood. The cross is a symbol of salvation. His upside-down position puts him between the heavens and the underworld below. His legs point towards heaven, which shows a connection to the spiritual world. Note that the wood on the trees is actually alive, as we can see the buds on the trees. The buds represent higher consciousness. Although the hangman is in the physical world, he is also connected with spirit. The cross can represent the different paths in our lives. The horizontal beam represents linear time, which is our path from birth on the left to death on the right. We are all on this horizontal path. However, the vertical beam represents your spiritual path, and that includes your thoughts, emotions, and your connection with spirit. This is the path that the hanged man has chosen. His arms and legs form a triangle, while his bent leg over his straight leg form a cross. Together we have a triangle over a cross, which is a symbol for fire. His tunic symbolizes knowledge, calmness, and physical death. The red tights represent passion and his physical body. His yellow shoes represent idealism. He has golden hair that is surrounded by a yellow halo. The halo is a symbol for enlightenment. It shows that he is having a spiritual experience. You see yellow in both his shoes and on his head. This indicates that all parts of him are in alignment with his experience. He is tied around his foot and waist, yet he looks surprisingly comfortable and relaxed. Even though he's hanging upside down, he seems to have accepted his fate. A gray background symbolizes neutrality. When the hanged man is in the upright position, it symbolizes that it's time for you to let go, surrender, and gain a new perspective. It might also mean that it's time for you to make a sacrifice for the greater good. It might represent that it's time to take a break and just hang out. This card can also represent delays in specific areas of your life. For example, you're waiting for medical test results that seem to be taking too long. When this happens, sometimes you just need to pause and wait, rather than calling your doctor's office every 20 minutes to see if they have any news. And if you've done something wrong, the hanged man card symbolizes that it's time to accept your punishment. This card could also indicate that you've reached a dead end. You are stuck. It is now time to look inward, come up with a solution, and make a decision. And the hanged man can represent poor health. 
So here's an example from my own life of gaining a new perspective. I apologize it's not the cheeriest story, but when my kids were two and five, I ruptured my Achilles tendon and required surgery. I was in major pain and had one of those uncomfortable gray boots on my foot. I was stuck in bed in our bedroom on the second floor of our house. And a few days after surgery, my husband left to take the kids to daycare and go to work, and he forgot to bring me breakfast. The blinds were drawn, the room was dark, I was in pain, I was starving, and I had no ability to get to the kitchen. This was 25 years ago, so it was in the dark ages in terms of technology. I didn't have a cell phone, and I didn't have any way to reach him. And I had this thought, this is why people kill themselves. Obviously, I survived, but it gave me a whole new perspective. I knew I was going to get better. However, that combination of pain and hopelessness gave me a lot of compassion and insight into people who felt they had been sentenced to a lifetime of pain. It is a lesson and a new perspective that I have never forgotten. When the hangman reversed appears in a reading, it can mean that you are at a standstill. You are feeling stuck or powerless. As a result, you've missed out on opportunities. It can mean you're not taking action because you don't feel ready. So it's time to make a decision and do something. It could mean that you are coming out of a period of contemplation. For instance, you were at a spiritual retreat and you are now coming home to the reality of your spouse and kids and work and housework and all those lovely things. It could mean you've done enough introspection. It's time to stop thinking and just take action. It might mean that you've sacrificed yourself for no reason. And the hangman can represent selfishness, apathy, self-pity, and depression. So here's a political example about sacrificing yourself for no reason. I'm making this video in December 2023. For 10 months, until earlier this December, Senator Tommy Tuberville of Alabama had blocked promotions of more than 400 senior U.S. military officials for one reason. He didn't like the Defense Department's policy on abortion. In case you want to know why, it's because the Pentagon agreed to pay travel expenses for military personnel who wanted to have an abortion but couldn't get one because they lived in a state where it was outlawed. So he basically held these military officials hostage. I won't make this story any longer, but he ended up giving in due to intense political pressure. The abortion policy was not changed, the people got their promotions. However, his reputation sustained major damage and also caused the families of our military to suffer needlessly. His quote-unquote sacrifice was for absolutely no reason. So here are some questions you can answer to help you connect with the hanged man. Number one, what parts of your life do you need to turn around? Number two, what old ideas or beliefs do you need to let go of? Number three, where in your life can you benefit from a new perspective? Can you be more tolerant of people who have a different perspective? Number four, what parts of your life are on hold? Should you force a solution or wait and let the situation resolve itself? Number five, are you making a needless sacrifice? Is now the time to give up? Number six, what parts of your life can benefit from pausing rather than trying to force your way through? And number seven, are you taking care of your health? Do you need to step back and make changes that will improve your physical, mental, or spiritual health? So I'd love for you to share your answers in the comments below. And then please join me for the next video, which is about probably the scariest card in the tarot deck, number 13, which is death.